Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host for this lovely event today. We're talking about the Justice, Peace, and Community Week World Day of the Poor Spoken Word Competition. I'm your MC for the day, Trini Boy Banton, better known as Aaron Dematis. And let's kick it off with a little bit of parang for you guys. So I pass you over to the parang bag. Excuse me, Us. Rio Manzanare, déjame pasar que mi madre enferma me mandó a llamar. Rio Manzanare, déjame pasar que mi madre enferma me mandó a llamar. Estrella que alumbre a mi porvenir y si se llega a morir, al cielo me voy con ella. Mi madre es la única estrella que alumbre a mi porvenir y si se llega a morir, al cielo me voy con ella. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the man himself, the man who is has the title of the king of Soka Parang, Uncle Crazy. Jam the song. This is the song I wanted. It's a new song, first time played anywhere. Crazy. Yes, let's go. It's a very simple. You want to dance with me? Or let's do. Blessed is the pure in heart. But there is other kingdoms to behold. I will not sell my soul for the riches of this world. I will share what little is given me. Happy to receive his mercy. I will praise his name all day long. Happy to know what I've done. Happy to know what I've done. I want to go to heaven and live this life without strife. I want to go to heaven. Christ has already paid the price. I want to go to heaven. Where the trumpet shall sound, I want to go to heaven. Where the saints are wearing his crown. Hey, see, up here, up the road, boy. I don't want to go down there with them fellas at all. Satan and them controlling down there, not me. Let's go. Some don't see the bigger picture. Do good and good will follow you. For this life, for this life would forever. not last forever. It depends on what you do. It depends on what you do. Stretch out your hand and tell me and help before, help before and you're hungry. Give freely instead, give freely instead. Light up Let me go. I want to go to heaven. To go to heaven, you've got to die. You've got to go, you've got to die to go to heaven. Must first reality you want to Yes, I want to I want to go to heaven. You must be righteous, this I could be righteous to heaven. Otherwise you will burn Otherwise you will burn in hell. I want to live righteous, yeah? See how I dress today? I come in new clothes. The spirit of the Lord is living in my soul. I need your love. I need your love. I'm calling on the Lord. With all this COVID going on, I want to live. For the good you have done for me. For the good you have done for me. I am thanking him to be strong. Look how I stand I am 78 years of age. People want me to change my name from Ayong to Wazyong. No! I will remain young in the name of I the Almighty. To I want to go to heaven. 
Yes. So remember this, this is a new song. And I'm sure that the abbot, the abbot is going to sing it too. I want to go to heaven. Yes, man. I have a photo with both of us. Yes, man. That's it. And it can be singing right there. We have no whining and we have no drinking and all that, you know. We remain in sober. I want to. Oh, look at my thing before you go. Everybody sing it from me. There you go. I, I want to go to heaven. Yes. Ever hear all that again? I want. That is where we have to go. One more time. I want to go. Brand new song. Nope. Never played nowhere. Thanks a lot. Right about now, I would like to welcome to the stage Miss Leela Ramdeen. Good day, my brothers and sisters. So here we are at the end of Justice, Peace and Community Week, which ran from the 13th of November to today, the 20th of November. As we know, the theme for the week uh, was taken from Pope Francis's message for World Day of the Poor, which was on the 14th of November, and that theme it was the poor you'll always have with you, taken from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 14, verse 7. And when, we, when he said the poor we'll always have with us, that's Jesus, Jesus' words um, at the anointing in Bethany before his passion. When he said that, he didn't mean that we should ignore the poor and walk on the other side and be indifferent to their needs. What he means is that we should take every opportunity to assist, to stand in solidarity with those who are poor on the margins, living you know, on the breadline, below the breadline. So that was the theme for World Day of the Poor that we chose for Justice, Peace, and Community Week. We also have today's theme for the spoken word competition is the ever wider we. And that comes also from Pope Francis's message on the 107th World Day of Migrants and Refugees on the 26th of September this year. And that theme, the ever wider we, is very important because what has happened in our world is, as the Pope says in his message, God had a plan. He had a plan. He died and saved so that all of us will be one. But we are not one. We are not one because in our world, the world is, dis is disfigured, broken, wounded. As he said, things are cracking. The world is cracking and crumbling. And you know why? Because of, of this aggressive form of nationalism and, and radical individualism. So he asks us to widen our tent to make sure that we build inclusive communities, to have to build bridges, not barriers, to break down barriers. Too many barriers, too many walls going up. Break down the barriers and build bridges where we'll have a spirit, we'll foster a spirit of, in, of encounter, encountering Christ in the face of each person, encountering Christ in the face of the poor and the marginalized. Too many of our people in Trinidad and Tobago and in the world live on the margins. And our task is to build this wider we, to be inclusive, but to share what we have. Everything we have is gift from God. And that gift from God is for us not to be selfish, not to only think about me, myself, and I. As he said, after the pandemic, after the pandemic, we shouldn't be talking about them and those. We should be talking about us. So today, we welcome all the nine participants who will participate in the spoken word competition. We welcome our youth. You know, the youth are the ones who will really lead us by the hand. Some of us oldies have not done what we should have done to build the wider we. So let's hope our young people can show us the way. So thank you, thank you young people for coming today, for participating. And thank you viewers and all those who participated during this week of Justice, Peace and Community Week. The week ends, but our work does not end. The work, as, as Crazy said in his song, we all wanna get to heaven. We all wanna get to heaven, but we have to work, we have to do as, as the Pope has said, and be angels and angel, agents of change. So let us engage in, more, in spiritual, um, spiritual works of mercy and corporal works of mercy, but also break down unjust barriers. Thank you, and unjust structures. Thank you. And can I, can I now hand over to Teresa, Best Downs Teresa, remember this is a partnership between the Catholic Youth Commission and the Catholic Commission for Social Justice and the Archdiocese Ministry of Migrants and Refugees. We are partnering with 
uh, the Catholic Youth Commission, and the chair of that commission is Teresa Best Downs. She has worked in the past with CCSG, and we really welcome um, Teresa's partnering with us again. Um, so I'll hand over now to Teresa. So thank you very much, Leela, for that warm introduction. As was mentioned, my name is Teresa Best Downs, and I'm the chair of the Catholic Youth Commission. And uh, I think I have the liberty to talk first to the young people who are here and those who may be watching more than anybody else, because that's my job, and just say, I want to thank you for your yes. Thank you for being brave enough to stand in front of everybody and say your piece. So give them a round of applause, please. Thank you. Um, it's never easy standing up in front of people with a mic in front of you. I know that, right? But what you're doing is something I want you to connect personally in the most godly way. Because you are using your gift of your, your talents, your mouth, your mind to present something to the world on topics that are not very easy to hear. And culturally, spoken word, everybody loves good spoken word. That's a part of our oral tradition of Trinidad and Tobago. But you are putting a twist on it. You are doing it and presenting it within the context of your faith. And that's sometimes very scary and like a different level of scary. So I really want to commend you for that and say no matter what happens today, you've done something amazing and I want you to keep on doing something amazing. And for any young person who writes something down on paper and then thinks maybe I shouldn't say it out loud, give yourself the permission to say it out loud. It's really important that your voice, especially now in the midst of a pandemic, is heard. So take those opportunities. To the parents, to the mummies and daddies who are here who so willingly participate in allowing your young people to do some crazy things, thank you as well, because that's a wonderful thing. As we continue to try to minister to young people in a pandemic, it's not hard to show up to different places. So thank you to the mummies, daddies, sisters, brothers, the families who allowed this to happen as well. Um, youth ministry comes in all shapes and sizes and sometimes we forget that just creating space for young people to be themselves is a form of ministry because it's hard sometimes to be yourself. So for anybody looking at this, as we continue to commit to the ever wider we, as we realize who we are as people of God, let us remember that that includes our young people, one, and two, creating space that all people feel that they are a part of the ever wider we. Whether they're young people with stories to tell, whether they're immigrants living in our country just to be able to find their way, whether they're you and your special story. I wish for you that you take this opportunity to write your stories, to share your stories, even in the midst of a pandemic. So I want to thank in a special way the CCSJ team for always doing this, for always partnering. Last year, because of the pandemic, we couldn't quite do it, but we are back again, and we're doing something a little special this year. So I want to make an announcement here, not just for the participants, but anybody watching. This being the end of Justice, Peace, and Community Week, we realize that sometimes not everybody feels as if they could tell their story. But here's what we're going to do. For one week, starting from today, we are going to have a People's Choice Award. And that award will be done completely online. We are going to post the videos as well as Anybody else who wants to enter the competition, please register. And we're going to post some videos. And we are going to also choose some more young people who can also receive some prizes. So I want you to make sure, if you already are not following us on social media, what are you doing with your whole life? Make sure you have followed CCSJ and the Catholic Youth Commission on Instagram and Facebook. And you will see more information about what we're going to do. Because we also want to hear from y'all, who's the hottest, who, who, who's saying it, who has the best flow, all right? So make sure you tell, you know that friend that you have that is always trying to rap and to rhyme and they always hiding behind something? Tell them too. They get to participate in our People's Choice version of the Spoken Way competition. 
So this will not end here. You have until the 27th of November to get involved in this if you want to be a part of the process. So make sure you enter and we will have an even wider opportunity to celebrate the we. Thank you everybody and God bless you as you compete. Kavisha Cordes. The name of this piece is A Window is a Mirror. Sometimes I accidentally call windows mirrors. Made with glass is all the same. Curtain drapes or silver frame. When I choose to stay, I see my face. She was scared when I peered through that day. I saw her bare and withered frame, yet weirdly she had worn no shame. Feet bare, her eyes projected no pain, and sun rays reflected off of her skin. Funny how the body could embody sad souls, and at no one glance could a mere man bear witness to its synthesis. Which reminds me of Harry, Homebound in La Perouse Cemetery, his bed, cardboard and bags, his pillow, a soft, wet, red rag. Yet he swept that temple clean and called it home, reminded me of Granny. As he searched for a seat to greet his guests with a warm welcome, and I reminded him of Thomas, an ex cellmate who would lie prostrate on the stone of Raman Yard, yet I sat like Buddha, back arched on the footpath as he spoke fondly of his past. Unable to renew his passport, afraid to be bound, the poetry that could be found in the fact that this home for the dead is where he felt safe and sound. Or Bernard, who found peace in the corner of the streets, hand out for a dollar or any handout, but I chose to hang out where he made bed, where his tears shed, about his abounding regrets on earth, and I held them close, eyes closed. And we felt like dirt, like we were in the beginning. And now I know why eyes are the windows to the soul. Because when I look into yours, I see myself. And when we strip this flesh, we are all one body. So I walk around and look into windows, listening to stories, because there is so much left for me to learn about myself. Thank you. Thomas. The name of my piece is Flames. I observe a country go to flames without blinking away tears. My eyes stay mesmerized in the never ending madness of fiery smoke circles riding bicycles into never ending sadness of exploitation, corruption, and hyperinflation. What would can one evoke when I see a country go to smoke? The tolerance of the wind is to blame as we allow the world to catch the flame of a selfish human aim. And now all we can disdain is that we are all the same. I observe a country go to flames without blinking away tears. Thousands of melancholy bemused faces having indelible marks of sad cases. I. I see them. 
I see them in the distance off the coast of my isle. My arms are open, shouting hospitality. But as they approach, they trample me by their gasp for safety. Tongues of speech from a nearby village give a foreign but somehow familiar image. As history repeats itself from stories of long ago, the flames shake in the wind trying to fight off a violent echo. People. People running away from a country caught in fire, a simple desire for a stable empire. As we tip our noses up, pouring blood into our cup, enslaving the same people who enslave us, like we not all turning back to dust. See how the flames return to invoke us. Blazes of orange illuminated the presence of a dark and scary effervescence. Oh, today I wish I was afraid of the light. I observe a country go to flames without blinking away tears. Floating boats toppled over because of the load. Shouldn't we help when these things overload like we was near two during that same coup in 1990? Breath. Fill the air as walls of anger and distrust push these migrants further away from us, telling them to stop. As I murmur the only words in their language that I may know, lo siento que tu país está en fuego. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that all the people who understand what I say wish that they couldn't. I'm sorry we keep pushing them back, back into the original sand, back into the original land, washing away into God right hand. When will people begin to understand? I observe a country go to flames, and without blinking away tears, I turn and walk away. Thank you. My piece is entitled, We Are One. We were God's Play-Doh. He formed us in his own image and likeness. We were his clay mold. We claim and hold onto the potter's hand, but push others into the nail-inspired holes, holes that God bore so there wouldn't be any more empty souls. How could we live in a world where the marginalized are penalized for our foul plays because we can't kick the goals in? The poor are empty vessels waiting for God to overflow it. Their stomachs are empty cups waiting for God to overflow it. Pope Francis once said that Jesus was a refugee. He had to flee to save his own life from persecution. Some children are migrants trying to change the hands they were served before they become servants. I am a migrant trying to sail across this ocean before this world pulls me down with its current day currents. We are all migrants trying to rest in Jesus like a boat with its final destination, heaven. But we can never be an ever wider we if we don't see the reality that there is poverty presently this virus trudges around and adjusts its crown into everyone's salary this COVID-19 this COVID-19 shows us that a mask shouldn't mask us from everybody else's plight but we act like we could get donations from other planets to solve our own strife it is time we realize that this world's prior needs are the priorities that we often reject. Imagine, we could construct artificial intelligence but cannot even solve world hunger. Doesn't that make us artificially intelligent? Ladies and gents, this world needs all the help it can get. Let us not forget, blessed are they who are poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God Here's a thought. Being rich doesn't mean you can afford a seat at God's throne and eat at the banquet of the Lord. We are called to join our hearts in community, in communion, one bread, one body, one dove that descends, one family, one love.
In God's eyes, we are one. Miss Azariah Stewart. mixed up philosophies and twisted methodologies. We are slaves. Slaves to selfishness, bitterness and injustice. So much so that we have become disconnected. Like a mother and baby separated during childbirth. Spending a significant amount of seconds in solitary. Chained to ignorance and low tolerance. A lifestyle that has become contagious somewhat like the COVID virus, plundering like a thief in the night, assassinating our consciousness like a ninja in action. It has become a part of our culture, a natural experience. Once upon a time, we were all in the same boat, like crabs in a barrel, warring for survival, fighting off the sharks of oppression and depression to achieve liberation with God, or guiding compass and unity or destination. This new ideology of the eye says that an eye for an eye is the way that I will deal with isolation, but I intend to create an isotope of Catholics from these idols. A place where we can come together, a family, it is time for us to weave together a fabric of worldwide we, a world where we can weave a well-balanced world. Thank you. Miss Jada Marie Pierre. Does anyone know the definition of us? See, us is what love is. Thus, it pulses in our most natural impulses, compulsing, joyous convulses. So us is you and I, or mother and child, or friend and enemy, because to forgive is divine. See, us is bigger than Satan's plan. Yet it starts with just any man to trigger an earth-shaking revolution, the bigger bang, because unity runs deeper than any river can. It will cleanse your heart to spick and span, choosing love. That one decision can change the world into a different land. A society that's amalgamated, free of chains and emancipated. One where all discrimination, whether race-based or non-vaccinated, is eradicated. Where the voiceless are advocated for. Furthermore, where respect is reciprocated, where every move from the government isn't politically motivated, where the uneducated or the poor or those who from their countries have been evacuated live in a world where their humanity is appreciated. To immediately mediate these, we just need some creative ingenuity. And we'd have a community beautifully lined with opportunities for unity. And you'd agree that luckily we have these things and more queued at the door. So what is it that we're waiting for? You see, it doesn't take a Bill Nye to realize all the me's and I's are detrimental. It shouldn't take a pro to compose a prose to explain something so fundamental. Let each step you take make long strides and change. Don't let your toes be ornamental. Let those with airs, hair, and be pioneers wherever they may stare. The enemy is faced with fear because he knows that these cavaliers won't be gentle. Strap on your breastplate, look for the best ways to get to checkmate. We can no longer just spectate, but gestate, a just state. And who knows, you and I might be instrumental. Brave hearts can spark a revolution that's transcontinental. We don't have to break the bank to make change. Good faith is a battering ram, so take aim, but it's folly. If we leave it for hobby, we have to embody God. 
He sees that we're just one body, many parts, perfectly crafted works of art. Even Mozart would remark that there's no greater masterpiece than the wider we, fine winery, so refined are we, ebony and ivory, so why are we a divided society when one person can't win a war single-handed? It takes an army working in harmony, rallied around a common goal and enchanted. So unity needs to be in our bloodstreams embedded and implanted. And joy is a thing that we can't take for granted. Because it doesn't take much to quell a fear or send a prayer or mend a tear or lend an air or kill your enemies with kindness to render their defenses bare. So remember we're together here. And that it's not us versus them. It's not the Trinis versus the Vennies, or the few versus the many, or the poor versus the wealthy, or the dimes versus the penny. Pinchers is the 21st century, and we still can't see the bigger picture. See, it's a stake in the heart, not just a splinter. And it's not confusing arithmetic or long division to see what a parasitic tick is this prolonged division. Selfishness, it's the wrong decision that will lead to a fatal head-on collision. And it's my mission to get you to listen to this young lady on your television. How many emissions of the same petitions would it take for contrition? Because it's a must. What we need is more us. <laughs> I'm starting to sound French with all these we's. But I'm holding my breath and I'll clench my teeth, waiting for you, my friends, to hear my pleas. The enemy is envy or hearts that are empty, lacking empathy. It takes more energy to hate than to love. It's easier to forgive than it is to hold a grudge. So when are we going to make peace with each other? And peace together that we're all sisters and brothers. I guarantee their serenity when we see that simply we're all just a wider we. Past political parties, a wider we. Healthy passing biopsies, a wider we. Holy and entirely, a wider we. Every day, entire week, a wider we. Strength in numbers, lonesome week, a wider we. Equals no hierarchies, a wider we. We are the wider we. Thank you. Joshua Viava, an ever wiser woman. Joshua Vialva, an ever wider we. But what does that mean? What does that look like? Picture the entire world living in lavish, rich life. Mmm. More Gucci, Versace, Prada, Dion, Louis Vuitton. But how do we embrace the poor, the vulnerable, and the heartbroken? First, we need to eradicate discrimination and then resurrect the determination to believe that every human deserves equal inclusion, equal rights. Mr. Michel Henry. When it gets so serious, he doesn't want to talk. Imagine your money being worthless. Imagine the rate of crime so high you had to lock yourself in your house. Imagine you have no food, so the bones in your ribcage find a way to gauge nut in your belly and lock itself. 
Imagine you can't even go outside and beg by a neighboring country because them feel that them is God themselves. Imagine you think about food so much you just try to close your eyes and picture yourself eating a two piece and fries with a little cold so I decide dog imagine that life was so bad before if you look back you might turn to a pillar of salt imagine that when you ask your neighbor for a pinch of salt they close the doors on your face like them don't give a pinch a thought so they draw a line in the waters and create an invisible margin for you to tiptoe on when you reach on the margin they bombard you and ask if you have the papers and if you don't have that well you and your whole family had to go back to the land of farming dog imagine it have persons singing every year every creed and race find an equal place but they won't allow a venue to be a part of the race too dog imagine that the time was sick things to list under we lips is a sick long list of spit filled with character traits worse than this imagine that this isn't imagining not even the cleanest person could come and spend a day in my mind with all that I imagine. I ain't going even treat the potong in my backyard so. No, because I know the potong don't know nothing. He just want food. So why we doesn't neglect humans that a kilometer away from we? I hope the guilt rip your insides to bits. Because while you outside partying, a venue probably under a shell and he belly ripping itself to bits. Yeah, he's suffering. Since when refugees turn to refuse. This is what refugees go through. The life they face is hell. And we in hell too. I just wonder how sometimes we just say that God is a trini. How can God abide in a people like this? Let's avoid this and create a wider way. Before you try to set Venezuelan families apart, try to find space to put them in your apartment. I pray that we go wider and beyond ourselves and know that everyone can get a piece of food on the shelf. I pray we go nowhere it's like to help out our brother if he come from the darkest part of the earth, even if we skin color like the darkest part of the earth and there's white like the part of my eye because even though my eyes have white in it, I can't see without the black part too. Trinidad is the Trinity. But this country could hold more than three dog. It's a community center that all in all in we. It's a community center that could hold more the fat. It have community center that down here so big it could hold all in we. Have community center that could hold more than the father and the son. I hope that our compassion gets so big. That is something to talk about. Tada Marie Bonio. You know what this lady just come and tell me? I was minding my business. Easy, easy. And she come and step to me. You know, you're an eyesore. You look kind of dirty. And you smell nasty. She don't know who she's talking to. She don't know who is me. I is the vagrant from Grandy. I say I is the vagrant from Grandy. She do nuna. Like she can see how the ribs frame my abs on my belly. She hopes she could achieve, but she do nuna. She don't know what it's like to walk outside a KFC. Just the smell of the chicken you just chase. Because that plenty for 20 don't count. Unless you have the 20 to pay for it in the first place. She don't know. It's like she can see the way my hips sway. The way the gaps between my thighs. She don't know now. She don't know about starving for three days a week because she had no food to eat. She don't know. Like she can't tell how nice I smell when I walk through a place. Fruit flies bloom behind me with every step I take. She just don't 
No. When I walk through a place, crowds move and people just clear a path for me. I walk on red carpets daily. I w sleep on designer garbage bags. Uh, my clothes are seasoned with age. These rips and tears, Gucci only hopes that they could imitate. She do Nuna. She don't know I am the only one worthy as a gift for Jesus' birthday. Because when people come and see me, they don't say, <clears throat> well, the Pope said, we have to be the ever wider we. So I'm doing my part and I'm giving to charity. But the more I see this ever wider we, it looking kind of narrow. Because after they come for me on Christmas day, they just go the next day and I don't know now. And then she don't know how it is to have this mental strain. To keep a smile on your face every day when people say, Why should I just get a walk? What she? But who go interview me? Let me be real. With the clothes on my back, season and marinate for about five years. I, the last time I bathed was the last time it rained, but she told Nuna. And she skin up she face. And she called me lazy. <laughs> well, I ain't forget she. She ain't know how hard I train. I is a certified beggar. She do know na. I had a brother and a sister. I had to stay home while they go to school during the day. <laughs> I start my long profession. Highway begging before I even write S.E.A. She <laughs> do care na. But what does it matter? Anything I say she's not going to retain. It's best I talk to myself because up to now, she don't know how deep her words stay in. She don't know now. Nah. Ha, Lord. She really don't know. Thank you. Wow. Uh, let's hear it again for Miss Tata Marie. She Hey, she really do know now, right? She really do know. How hard it is to come up here and do this MC, you know? She don't really do know. <laughs> anyway, judges, boy, I don't know what to say. The young people here came out. They give their best. You guys now have everything in your hands to tally. I don't know how you guys are going to tally that. I don't know who the winner is going to be. But let's hear it again for our young people. You know, when I, I was... um. I was reminiscing, and I, I think I have a little piece, you know, a little small piece. Uh, don't laugh at my piece. Uh, by the judges tallying their scores, uh, I'll, I'll just do it spontaneously, something on the spot here. All right? So don't laugh at me. Let's move this mic here, I'll have more space to move. I'm not a poet like you guys. It's just off the head, off the top of my hat. <sighs> How many more? How many more mothers must suffer abuse? How many young women must die at the hands of men? What is going on? Why a hit a day is ruining the, the, the life of families every day? Times and times again I hear mothers bawling. Another slap they get in. What to do? What's wrong with this society today? Mothers, please. Help your children. Fathers, look after your, your young ones. How much more must go again?
competition. Absolutely. And so now we are here for that time that everybody gets anxious about. And so we have the results, but we are only going to do first, second, and third because everybody here has won something special. So we have provided for everybody here a little goodie bag that should help you with your ever wider week. And in that goodie bag, we have something to keep you, something to help you stay hydrated, something to connect you to the world, and something to help expand your spirit and your mind. So, we are very happy to present you with these bags. So each, everybody will get a, a little bag of some sort. And in the bag, we hope you enjoy what's there. All right? Now, those bags were kindly sponsored by other departments within the Archdiocese, and we want to make sure we acknowledge that and thank that. And I know Dominique and Darren will do so in the thanks. But just want to say that this is not just a collaboration between the Youth Commission and the Social Justice Commission, but also Archbishop's Appeal, the Family Life Commission, and so on. All right? So the CBM, um, the Liturgical Commission, and the Catechetical Office as well. So I have some information on this paper. And we're going to start with third place. Hmm. You know, Leela, <laughs> life is a wonderful thing. Absolutely. You know? I was sharing with the Yes. In third place, we have Kalissa Divertag. acknowledge that this is not Kalissa's first time in the competition. Technically, she's a bit of a veteran. She was here in 2019. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming again and for sharing your expertise. Time, talent, and treasure. The Lord gives it with all to us. Yes, and we have to share it with the wife. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, the sky is beautiful outside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's blue, it's bright. And in second place, we have. I think I just like you, you know, I can't figure out how to. Tada Marie Bonia? Tada Marie Bonia. Once again, 
And thank you all so much for coming out to the Catholic Commission for Social Justice's Spoken Word Competition. First of all, let me say a big, big thank you to our fellow judges out there, Diane Wells and Marianne Ramirez. Thank you all so much for joining us, for judging. It was not an easy task at all. You all are booming, booming with talent inside there as well. I just wanted to share something with, with, with some of you all, um, you know, who came up here and, you know, you might not have, have hit it the way that you wanted to hit it. I remember busting quite a few times, eh? Busting on a mic is part of the experience. You had to get through that, right? Bust on the mic and then get through it again. If you hit, you miss, right? You go again to hit again and again and again. You have to keep trying and trying and trying. Your mindset is what's the most important thing as a performer. Continue building that, and you'll continue building from strength to strength. So a big, big congratulations and thank you to all of our participants as well. Please give them a round, a big round of applause. I want to say a big, big thank you to our overall organizer and coordinator of the event, Ms. Dominique Hefes Doon. And of course, our CCSJ team as well, Matthew, Marcia, and Zahiro, for all the help and support that they've given us here today as well. Thank you all so much. A big thank you to Leela and Teresa as well for announcing the results <laughs> in such a blue sky <laughs> format. <laughs> thank you all so much. Always bring a lovely energy as well here. So a big thank you to you all. And of course, a big thanks to our MC as well, Aaron Dimatas. But, but a massive, massive thanks to the Mount and Mount TV and the entire staff and the Abbott as well. Thank you all so much for having us here at the Mount and for bringing the energy. And of course, thanks to our two forms of entertainment at the beginning as well, Crazy and Hermancia Her Venezolana. I believe it was the parent group at the beginning there as well. Really well done. So thank you to the entertainment as well. And thank you to you, our, our audience out there for viewing, for being part of this with us, for going through this with us as well here, for being part of this experience here as well. It has been quite fantastic and we really enjoyed bringing this to you. You know, the theme that, that has been presented here before you all is a very important theme. And I think it's something that we need to pay particular attention to. Very often, we leave the poor and the destitute to the side, and we forget completely about them. Let not, not, let not this just be words, but let it be a call to action as well. So the words that were spoken here by each of you all, by each of our contestants and participants, it needs to be a call to action, a call to rise up. Rise up above and beyond. We need to be our neighbor's keeper. And that's very, very important. So always keep that within your mind as well. Because at the end of the day, what happens to our brother and sister is a reflection of our internal world. And that's important to always remember. So go with God always. Walk with God always. Continue to be a voice that shouts above and beyond. Continue to push in the creative industry. You know, we take a real serious hit. I had, a, I had to take a moment for that. The creative industry specifically took a big, big hit uh, this year. And it's been really hard for artists like myself and other artists and young and upcoming artists as well. And we see people kind of just moving away from the art forms and, and saying, you know, well, that, that don't make no money. There are nothing in it. You can't make a livelihood out of that. And I don't think people really pay particular attention to that. There's a poverty that exists within that industry as well, which is ironic because there's a richness that comes from that, that industry, a richness that enriches people's minds, hearts, souls, everything, and is also always, every single event that you have, people always want entertainment, and they always want something to get you in that mood. And I know music and dance and theater and poetry has been something that has been able to help people go through the process and go through this pandemic as well. So it's important that we remember everybody along the way. Remember the poor, the destitute, but we also remember all those who make it their duty every single day to make others happy and to help those who are marginalized and on the margins. Yeah. The ever wider we. Thank you all so much for joining us here. And I now call upon you to enter out. 
I want you to shout it from north to way down south. It don't matter which part you're from. You see, this is the time to experience a journey. A journey through humanity. You see, it's up to all our way to rise up. Rise up from the ashes that are burning and burning and burning in our tongue. You see, our tongues need to ring out loud. And then we shall have the message to share from age to age. It don't matter. It don't matter. Don't let the thing just splatter. Instead, rise up above and beyond. The ever wider we come in as one. Is our big party. Is our big family. Is all are we. Thank you. The ever wider world.